Welcome to Trophy TV. It is the my three things. I can't even remember. Three talking points. Chelsea six, Everton nil tonight to Stamford Bridge. An absolutely horrific night of football for Everton in West London tonight. What a terrible, terrible performance we have just witnessed. Second best from the kickoff. Absolutely awful performance. A gut wrenching performance, really, and one that I think will have terrified Evertonians. Farad Mashiri bothered to turn up and was there to witness that. It was an absolutely shocking display against a team who have got really good individuals but haven't looked great this season. Burnley, a couple of weeks ago, played them for 60, 50 odd minutes with 10 men and drew 2 2 and could have won it. And yet we've turned up tonight and been absolutely hammered by not having a very good game plan and not being resolute to react and go behind. And that is the worry. Uh, first thing I'm going to talk about is. The game plan, what is it? What is it? What was it tonight? It's me birthday, and that's the performance they give me. Yeah, I didn't I didn't get the game plan tonight. I, I really didn't. I don't see how a team can just turn up playing the same formation every single week when it isn't successful doing it and continue to do it without any clear instruction. I don't understand why Ashley Young and Seamus Coleman were our right hand side tonight. Uh, I thought Jack Harrison might have come in instead of Young. And then Young being used for his experience. Because you're playing against a very youthful, energetic Chelsea team. You know, Midwaki on one side, you had Mudrick on the other, Cole Palmer dropping in pockets, picking everything up. And yet, it's just the same every time. This manager and the coaching staff have got to pull their finger out. Are they 100% to blame? No. Are they? Have they got a shoulder blame for the fact we won one in 15? 100% they do have to shoulder some of this blame. Not good enough. No care who... The people who love them can defend all they want and blame everybody else, but it's their job to get the best out of these players. And now are these players putting every bit of effort into their displays? Not tonight, they didn't. They have in other games. Tonight, they were terrible as a performance level. They are all better than what they showed tonight. And that game plan, I just don't get it. I don't understand why the manager doesn't is so reluctant to try something new. I just I honestly, for the life of me, don't understand it. Why? It's not what we're doing is not working. So try something new. Go with three at the back. Give Beto a hand up front. You know, the the players are there to play three five two. We need a Drissa Gay in that midfield because he hunts and closes everything down. We were way off it in that first half in that midfield. They destroyed us in the midfield and we were all over the place. The core wasn't in the game until he went and played centre mid. You know, it's not good enough this and it, it's going to need a change of, of attack by Sean Dyche. He's going to have to change it. And again, I've been calling for 3-5-2 for a while. Get someone alongside our centre forward get players wide, get crosses into the box. It's it's very, very simple and it needs changing right now. Otherwise, we are heading for the championship because we just keep doing the same thing week in, week out and get no results. I just, honestly, uh, the amount of stick that Frank Lampard took and the amount of stick Rafa Benitez took is mad that we just keep doing the same thing and yet people are still defending what we're doing. So the manager has got to step up to the plate. We need to be led. We need a leader. He has got to be the leader. Show everybody that you're thinking and exercising every opportunity to try something new, which will break this cycle. We've got three home games now in six days, is it? Six, it could change to seven this week, but it's six days. It's going to decide our season. Come out of that week with two wins, then, okay, I think we're in a good place. We don't win them two home games against Forest and Brentford. I really, I really do fear for. I mean, I'm worried. Man. I'm really, really, really worried. But I will fear that we are, we'll be gone if we don't win those two home games. Liverpool is a derby game. It is what it is. Sam is in the middle. But the two games against Forest and Brentford are huge to us. And I feel like we can't go in playing that same formation. We're too easy to play against. Chelsea picked us off. They're not even. In great form, <coughs> excuse me, in great form. They haven't been sweeping teams aside and yet they just picked us off at will. So please change something, please. The second thing I'm going to talk about is Farad Mashiri. He was there tonight 
right? He has got to step up as the owner, put pressure on triple seven. If they're the ones buying it, get that sorted. Get that deal sorted. If it's the Premier League holding it up, chase the Premier League. All of the you can't sit back. Show some leadership then. If you've if you are far up machinery and you have exercised everything you can do, you've you've chased triple seven, you've given them ultimatums. Well, I don't know if he has, by the way, I'm just saying. Do the same for the Premier League. Put it out there, speak to people, let pe if it is truly the Premier League holding the process up, do an interview, let people know it's the Premier League. Do the client journalism stuff that the Premier League do. Because this is it's you know the gloves have got to come off now. We are falling like a stone. If we I've said this on other videos, if if it wasn't Everton who were in this room, we are, if this makes sense, and we were looking at that club tumbling, we'd all be saying they're gone. One win in 15, they're gone. The rudderless, the players aren't playing for the manager, and there's no nothing's happening ownership wise, they've had points deducted, they've got another appeal, and that might end better or worse for them. Who knows? Forest have got an appeal, which might end better or worse from them. You'd be looking going, they're, they're bang in trouble. They look like they're going to go. We've been circling the drain. This is the third season we've done it. People can go on and say, if we didn't have the points deduction, or we'd be higher up and we'd be all right. doesn't matter. That's done. That is done, isn't it? There's nothing we can do about that. What we have been able to do is not, you know, is win more than one game in 15, which we've not managed to do. If Everton would have won, Three and fifteen, which is still an absolutely awful, like awful record. We would, I think, most of us would be thinking four or five more points, we're fine, and yet we haven't, and that is unacceptable. So yes, the points deductions, of course, higher up we'd be, of course we'd be more relaxed. But if we'd have just done our jobs, and we've had opportunities, you know, we've had opportunities of Fulham in a nil nil. We've had teams like Palace at Goodison when we should have put them to bed and we didn't. You know, we were winning 1-0 against West Ham with 20 minutes to go or less than that, I think. We were 1-0 up at Brighton. We've had enough opportunities and yet through poor play from the players or poor managerial decisions, we've thrown those points away to the position where we are where we are now and we have to step it up and therefore we need every little bit we can get. And it's up to Mishiri to lead now. Doesn't matter if you're on your way out. Show some bleeding leadership. Come into the club. Let it be known that you're chasing. Speak and tell people what's going on. Give us some leadership because we are rudderless. Absolutely rudderless. And the third thing I'm going to say, and I, I don't need to say this as such, but I'm going to say it, is it's up to the fans again. It's up to the fans again. We have got three huge games in a week. The derby will take care of itself, but Forest are half one on a Sunday. What an atrocious time for a game of football. And for Brentford the week after, Goodison has got to be an absolute bear pit. It's, ab it's, it's on us. These aren't capable of doing it. The management team haven't been capable of putting a structure in place that gets the best out of these players. These players haven't been capable of carrying out whatever the plan is from the manager right now. So we're going to have to drag them over the line. The time to question the players and the management team will come. Will come. Right now, it doesn't seem like anything's going to change because we've got no one in charge of us. So it's on the fans. If we can make Goodison an absolute bear pit when Forrest come and when Brentford come and we can drag these players over the line in them two games, we win those two games, we're in a, we'll be in a good place. We really will. Then if, you know, Go and just don't lose at Luton and who knows then, Chef United at home. It could be all done by then. But they, they need it. The players need it because right now it's just, they're just ambling towards relegation. And I know it's a big ask and I know that fans will be behind them anyway. And the 1878s have done a great job of trying to get the flags and all that, but we have to somehow turn it on again. Blue, bleeding smoke. If I'm, if I'm the club, I'm saying to Deitch that the players are having a bus welcome. And listen, people might go, they don't deserve it. I get it. I get it. And I, you know what? I wouldn't argue for it if people said that. I'm just thinking out loud and thinking it worked when the players needed it. Certainly under Lampard, it worked massively when we looked like we needed the lift. This team needs a lift. The wind against Burnley is neither here nor there. 
the way it happened. If we'd have gone on and beat them 3 0, you could have put that tonight down to a blip. We didn't. We we struggled to get over the line against the team who we were going down. And they only had 10 men. So, you know, we're going to, everyone's going to have to scream their heads off for every single decision on Sunday and, and again against Brentford. And you, I know the derby, I don't need to mention the derby because it will happen in that anyway. But we're going to have to get some big points and it begins this weekend. And the fans, away fans, again, tremendous tonight. Crazy miles they've done in the last three away games. Supported that team and they don't deserve it. The club doesn't deserve it. Right now, it doesn't deserve the level of support it gets. This is this is just sickening. Three years on the run. And three years on the run, the fans are going to have to play their part. So let's hope, let's hope the energy is there at the weekend and we can get a, a huge, what will be a huge result. But what we've done is we've given Nottingham Forest a massive lift tonight and Luton Town. And we're going to have to take, we're going to somehow have to wrestle that emphasis back off those two, impetus rather, back off those two and put it back in our hands. That's it. That's all I've got to say. Thanks for watching the video. Thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. See you later.